Okay, working with the same video here, I'm going to show you uh, how to import from Facebook. Uh, there is one step, it's a little bit manual, but uh, I'm going to get rid of these couple slides here first. And then you click the import Facebook. And now you notice it's asking for the Facebook URL. Uh, what you need to do is go on Facebook and, um, and uh, find an, a photo album. I just did a quick search and this is a public uh, a public album so uh, it's from a uh, just did a search for Color Springs Realtor or something and found the first thing uh, here and uh, all you have to do is you can copy once you have a URL two things to look for is a bunch of numbers here you have set equals a dot a bunch of numbers if you, if you see something like that that should work um, let's see if we go here Actually, I believe if you see the number on the end here, that might work as well. So let's just see if that does it. So I'm going to copy the entire URL, go back into here, paste that in, hit import. Let's see what happens. Okay, that must be the wrong number. Sorry. Um, let. Oh wait, no, sorry. I, my internet is slow right now, so I, I'll probably I need to add a little loading icon there to let you know it's loading but it did grab the photo albums from this page again it's a public page it's not a it's not a personal page it's a um, you know business page or whatever okay so um, it, it, it'll list the albums that are available and then you just click which one you want let's try this one and again my internet has been slow uh, while recording this so I don't know if it's me or what but okay so here are the the videos and um bring this over or um, here are the the images you can scroll through so what happens is when you click on the image it's going to automatically create a slide and use the caption if there is one as the um the text and the you know all that stuff text to speech and when you click it i click it it goes away letting me know I already have it and then so there it is I created it added it to the bottom and uh, of course I can reorder these and then if I click inside you'll see that it there's the photo uh, and then it used the description as the text which also becomes the text-to-speech so if I hit preview now we should hopefully see Lovely five bedroom, four bath, two car attached garage custom home in Black Forest on almost three acres. Okay, so you can hear that the text to speech really did a pretty good job uh, with uh, translating this. And then um, one thing I don't like is that there's a lot of text here, it's kind of big. So what I might do is size this one down. Bit 40 seems to be a bit big. I, I tend to like to use 30. Let's see what that looks like. Lovely five bedroom, four bath, two car attached garage custom home in Black Forest on almost three acres. All right, so uh, there you go. So I can do that with the rest of these slides if I want. All I have to do is just click on them. Of course, pick the ones I want. I'll just pick a few as a demonstration. There they all are. I need to drag my ending down here. And then. Um, now I have my video. So that time I created a video very quickly, especially if you have an intro slide and an exit slide already set up, or uh, maybe you don't even need one. But you can see you can build this very quickly if you find find clients if you're uh, if you're in that business of consulting and video consulting with uh, offline businesses. Find clients. Go on Facebook and find ones that already have portfolios or, or you know these things in their albums already create a video for them and then you're done in, in just a couple minutes so okay so that's uh, the Facebook function there and another video I'll cover some uh, uh, something else regarding um, some other little details about text-to-speech and stuff like that